Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel and for a new test video I am on Spectacle Island by Alien Jim and the reason why I'm doing this test video is that there is one cell point which is a little bit tricky to <laughs> To access and uh, yeah I got some messages also yesterday by one of my viewers he big shout out to Perke or Perky Pir Perke um, because he did a sugar beet harvest contract on field 16 and the cell point was this one the boat unloading station that's all the way north on the map and what's special about this one is you have to access it uh, from the shore side or from the water side I'm gonna show you so this is the harbor area you got different cell points there but all the way on the north side here you see you cannot access by trailer or anything here the cell point is just at the hazard mark there as you can see I have not tested this so this is more or less like a live test now I have actually been privileged enough to be in contact with Alien Jim the model itself uh, because I tested yesterday to put the NMC bridges over here and I couldn't get my trailer on board uh, so I sent Alien Jim a message and he replied that the boat unloading station cell point uh, with the barge will only take pallets so I've set up uh, some kind of system here now with um, this one this is the Grimme RH2460 and here we have the what you call Lizard S710 some belts there so I'm gonna test how it is to sell at the boat unloading station so the boat unloading station takes uh, your root crops like potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, but also wool. And you can see that, for instance, on potatoes, I'm on easy now, by the way, so you might see other numbers on uh, normal and hard. But you can see the difference that potatoes are paying a whole lot better on this one and it's rising. The same with sugar beets, sugar cane, and also wool. So it's paying better, but it demands a little bit work. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so what I have, uh, I have three pallets here. These are the reusable pallets. These are 4,500 liter. Uh, it comes with a pack. Ooh, these ones, these are the reusable. I think they're called so you know there are for liquids and this is the one that holds more or less everything 4500 liter you can change the color like so so this one you even though it says leasing cost uh, it's not possible to lease it you have to buy it but it's only 200 and these ones are the ones that you can carry Uh, they will not disappear when you sell the product inside so what I'm gonna do now let's see this belt is turn on belt like so and this one you can also enter this one you have the option of enable pallet creation or not so if you enable it like so it will appear pallets underneath there. They are only a thousand liter. Let's see. Let's do potatoes first, maybe. Uh, 
Mm, there we go. How much do we need? Uh, that pallet is 4,000 liters, so... Yeah. About 4,900. So did I enable everything here now? This one is on. Yes, this one is... Uh, yeah, pallets on. So let's see. We should be able to just drop it in here now. And no. Do I need to unfold it? Turn off, turn on, unfold it. Oh, there we go. And there you can see already a pallet appearing. Now, I did try... Um, I did try to put these ones underneath here, but that did not work. So if I go in here and I press Disable Palette Creation, Uh, and then I just need to move this pallet. Like so. And if I put this one underneath, it will collect a little bit. But oh, that's... that's Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there we go. It's filling up a little bit, but... You know, it's not filling, so to speak. Did I have more here? Yeah, let's just get rid of all of it. Now this one, the Grimme RH2460 will hold, I think it is 13,000 liter. So you can see it's filling up just a little bit and then stopping. So it doesn't work that good actually so what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do like so I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna offload it directly into this one and we need to enable this one again enable pallets I know maybe I'm going a little bit too fast forward, but you get the picture. You're getting a thousand liter pallet, sir. And then you just. It is a little bit fiddling work, but you know, if you like to do things like this, why not? And you will get hopefully better paid. So is it empty? No. Why did it stop? Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is a, a, a live test, so to speak. I'm not streaming live, but we're testing as we go by. So I'm going to fill up... Um, let's see. I'm going to fill up this one with potatoes. Uh, what I'm hoping to do let's see let's just fill this up first I don't know why this is stopping every time I do have to do, do, do this one automatic start off here yeah. but apparently I need to go in here each and every time. You could also, if you have uh, a big bucket on your tractor or telehandler, you could just drop it directly into this one. You don't need the spelter, but I don't think this will collect directly from the ground, so to speak. Whoa. So that's four, and then half of this one, then we have 4,500 liter.
There we go. So now it's a matter of getting this one out to the um, barge. Uh, what I have done, because I think this is going to be heavy, I have put on a weight on the back of the telehelner. Uh, you know, if you're doing a potato harvest or sugar beet harvest, the yield is really high. So you're going to get a whole lot of these. Let's see, that's this one. Let's see how far we can get with this one. Like so, maybe. Oop. Yeah, so... You know, you can get maybe 10 pallets. And then you can drive the barge, turn it around 180 degrees, and then put on more pallets, maybe 20 pallets, I would assume. What I also have done is, uh, doo -doo -doo, let's jump in here, because this cell point also take wool. So I have bought a whole lot of uh, sheep, fed them, given them water. So while I'm doing the other things, uh, I'm going to wait until I get a wool pallet and we're also going to test with that and when I'm finished we're going to sail away to the boat unloading station so I guess I'll see you in a bit when <laughs> I have filled up the two other ones So, this one apparently does not take sugar uh, cane. I put sugar cane down here, the belt took it, but not this one. And then I thought, well, do we need this one? As I said, this is <laughs> live testing. Can we do it with just this one directly into the 4500 pallet? That would be really nice ah oh, there we go oh no oh yeah oh yeah hoochie mama <laughs> okay so we don't need this one uh, we can just have this belt here that makes life much easier, then you don't have to fiddle around with these uh, thousand liter pallets. Like so. And I want to push it now because it is in the sweet spot. It looks like it's just on the edge. Is it filling up? Yeah. Turn on belt. There we go. Oh, that's <laughs> that's what I call a real sweet spot. You need to have it in the correct position to be able to fill it up jiggle around with it a little bit <laughs> ok 
Okay, it's working, it's working. Seems to be... Yeah, there we go. I think it's full. So now it's just a matter of I need to fast forward a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work when we get to the station, so to speak. Um, to, 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 you know, if we're getting sugar beet uh, offloading cell trigger or sugar beets or potatoes. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah. I need to fast forward and we need to get some uh, wool. So, the day after we have wool. Uh, now, can we reach it with an ordinary front loader? There we go. And I guess you can push them in with the next couple of uh, wool pallets. So, now we have everything that the boat unloading station will take. We got wool, sugar cane, sugar beet and potatoes so now it's just a matter of entering vehicle here start up the engine put on some <laughs> tension belts and away we go oh okay oh okay they move ay 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 they move actually pretty much let's see let's do a brake test and move them a little bit forward <laughs> like so uh, yeah, more or less like so. Uh, I need to fuel up, by the way. So, I'll fuel up and I'll see you up there at the cell point. So, the moment of truth. It didn't took that long to sail up here. And as I saw, you cannot go through the islands uh, because there are some shallow grounds there where the roads are. But now it's more interesting what's gonna happen now. Will we get a trigger up? Oh, there we go. It's selling a Whoa! That's the wool. The money is going up. And the pallets are also being emptied. Nice! <laughs> so there we go. We got 18,000 for <laughs> the sugar beet, sugar cane, potatoes, and wool. Hmm. So it started offloading directly without doing anything let's check the prices now the day after <sighs> potatoes yeah much better than the other ones also well sugar beets are actually lower than the root crops sugar cane are much higher Ooh, wool over double the higher price than the spinnery so wool Definitely it's a good one, but also the other ones and you know, it's not about making more money. I think it's about You know doing something different And that's what alien Jim has created we can do something different and I like it. I like it a lot So I think that was it 
right. Uh, when it comes to, let's see, this one. Uh, so apparently, uh, yeah, you don't need this one. This big guy. Uh, you can either have either just this one, or if you want to take it uh, by bucket and just directly into those 4,500 liter uh, pallets, or you can use this one and have a whole lot of uh, 1,000 liters pallets. Uh, uh, just another thing, <laughs> I read some comments on Facebook that you shouldn't reset the crane. So whilst I'm here on the test map, <laughs> let's do it. It says that if you reset the crane, it will reset all the way back to the shop. So if we can go into the map here, let's see if we can, oh, can we find the crane here? I have so many equipment there. I, 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 I should move away these ones. So here we go. And another thing uh, which I did, which is a mistake, uh, is that I left the barge. And as you can see, on the barge is not the vehicle, so you cannot jump into it. Uh, these are the pallets, and you cannot tab to the <laughs> the barge itself but what you can do in an emergency I can jump to this one and let's see we need to go on the outside here there you see the barge is free floating I did manage to jump on board but you know it's not a good seamanship it is floating away, so you know, you can jump on board, like so, and then uh, you better go drive it to the nearest quayside. <laughs> but now I can jump to a tractor, but I cannot jump back. So yeah, just bear in mind, and the same goes for that vessel also. So let's reset the crane. Where are we? Down here. So R3 and reset. Bam. So now the crane should be down <laughs> here. Let's see. Let's jump to this one. Let's see if we can see the crane. It's not here. Maybe it's on board. Oh, that's a collision. Just have to jump over it. So there we go. <laughs> so here's the crane now. Does it work here? Let's see. Enter. There we go. Yes, it's working. <laughs> let's let's just try to grab this one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, there we go. If you reset it, it will appear here. But, you know, if you want to use the crane for picking up stuff here, you can do it. So, I think that was it for this test. And hopefully it was helpful for some of you. At least for me. Uh, this was uh, online. Not online, but more or less a live testing. So you could do it without this and yada yada. <laughs> so if you like what you see, hit that like button, all those whistles and bells and notifications. And hopefully I will see you the next time. I am starting a Let's Play on this one. As I said, maybe episode one will come out before this one. So again, thank you for watching and bye bye.